When cancer was first described, the only way to diagnose or monitor a tumor was by seeing or feeling it through the skin. If it was growing quickly or if new tumors appeared, physicians could predict the patient did not have long to live. In 1895, Wilhelm Röntgen's discovery of the X-ray gave us a way to view tumors with more accuracy, but treatment options were still limited. The discovery of chemotherapy in the 1940s led to new ways of extending lifespan for cancer patients, but also a new challenge. How could we tell which treatment worked best? The solution was to share standardized data. At cancer hospitals around the world, Physicians who were using the new treatments all agreed to measure tumor size the same way. By comparing these measurements, we could tell that the best chemotherapies were the ones that shrunk tumors the most. Today we have many new therapies available to treat cancer, and once again we have new challenges because they don't all act like chemotherapy. Targeted therapy may help without shrinking tumors. Immunotherapy may actually cause them to grow bigger before they shrink. With so many treatment possibilities, we need new ways to measure efficacy. Once again, sharing standardized data is key. When radiologists look at a CT scan, they see a lot of information. A tumor that's responding well to treatment might change shape or texture as well as shrinking. But making judgments about a tumor's shape or texture requires years of training, and two experts might interpret the same image differently. So we discarded this extra information. Now, radiomics lets us turn it into standardized data that can be shared. Radiomics is a way of using artificial intelligence to measure every aspect of the visual information contained in standard medical images and compare how it changes over time. Our work depends on the donation of thousands of CT scans from cancer patients in clinical trials all around the world. By analyzing the visual information in these scans, we are able to predict whether a therapy will be effective after just two months of treatment, much sooner than if we consider tumor size alone. We do this by measuring the change in a tumor's shape and texture, learning what these changes mean in thousands of scans where we already know the outcome, and then validating this knowledge by looking at new tumors that show similar changes. When a tumor grows more irregular in shape and more heterogeneous in texture, while also increasing in size, we can now predict accurately that a treatment isn't working. With this information, a physician could potentially switch a patient to another therapy without having to wait for the tumor to grow bigger or new tumors to appear. Eventually, we think that radiomics will be used to personalize cancer treatment by helping physicians select the most appropriate therapy for each patient and modify it more quickly if it's not working. This personalization won't require more tests, more scans, or more surgeries just computing power to analyze the medical images patients already get. We've come a long way since we measured tumors with a ruler. The hidden information we collected along with those measurements holds the key to the next revolution in cancer treatment.